In this video, you will learn how we can implement serializers to fetch the data in Django. So, to implement the serializers in Django, we first need to create a file called serializers. So, go to your API app and right click on it and create a new file and call it as serializers.py. Okay, make sure the spellings are correct serializers.py. Okay, so inside the serializers, we need to make a student serializer. Okay, so before you implement serializers, just make sure inside this settings.py you have added this REST framework into this installed apps. Okay, so once that is done, and uh, then you need to import the serializers from a REST framework. Okay, so let's say from a REST underscore framework, import serializers. All right. And after that, we also need to import the student model from students dot models import student. Okay, so we have the imports. Now let's create a class. It's more like uh, how you create the Django forms, right? So in Django forms also you create class and after that you say student form, right? So it is uh, something like that. Student serializer. Okay, so this is not a form. This is a serializer. So that's why it will be a class student serializer. All right. So the serializer will extend the features of serializers dot model serializer, just like how you import from Django import forms, right? After that, you use forms dot model form, right? So this is very similar to the forms. It is serializers dot model serializer. All right. Now class in Django form also you use class meta, right? There also you say model equal to student and after that you say field fields is equal to let's include all the fields. Okay. So if you say underscore underscore all underscore underscore, then this means that in this student serializer, we want all the fields that needs to be serialized. Okay. Just save this. Okay, so this is how we create the serializer. All right, now we need to use this serializer in our views.py as well, because so far what we were doing is we were actually manually serializing the query sets, right? But this is not the correct approach. We need to use Django REST frameworks component called serializers, right? We have already created uh, the student serializer class. That's what we want to use inside this views.py all right so let's first remove this okay we don't want this because we don't want to you know manually serialize anything now you know we will remove this and first of all we will actually you know what if you don't want this you can just comment it out and uh, first thing you need to actually import the serializer that we have created right from dot serializers import the name of the serializer is student serializer okay and after that let's actually say so uh, this will be our function based view all right in the future lectures i will also show you how we can create class based views as well okay so let's start from function based views and uh, here i'll say if request dot method is equal equal to get okay so if the request is get then what we want to do we want to get all the data from the student table okay if the method is get we want to list down all the students from the student table so how to take out the students simple right just a student dot objects dot all that's it and after that you can see serializer is equal to the serializer that we have created here right you simply copy this and put it here 
so inside this serializer we need to pass the query set that we have retrieved from the table right so this one simply copy that one and paste it here one more attribute we want to give that many is equal to true why this many is equal to true is because students can be multiple right so if you look at this query student dot objects dot all this means we are fetching the multiple students right so that's why we need to pass many is equal to true okay so once that is done we will now return so far we were using json response right but let's not use json response we will use response okay so this response comes from rest framework dot response okay let's first of all let's import it rest framework dot response import response okay so we will use this response to pass the response okay so return a response and this inside this response we need to say serializer dot data okay so this whatever serializer we get we need to pass it here serializer dot data and also you can say status is equal to we have a, a module called status which comes from django rest framework okay i'll show you how it works from rest framework import status so this status will give us the http response or status code okay so this status will give us the status code all right so if you say status is equal to status dot you see uh, there are a lot of status you can use okay these are all the http status codes okay so the one we are interested is http underscore 200 underscore okay okay http 200 okay you know which means we have successfully received the data from the uh, request okay so let's save it all right once we return the response we need to also take care of the methods that we want to allow for this view that means if i want this student view to be only accessed using the get request then i need to specify here okay so that will be using the decorators okay so we have a decorator called at the rate api view okay so that will actually come from rest framework dot decorators import api view okay so this will take the methods for example if i want to allow get request for this view then you know i need to specify this get here all right let's see let's go to http over slash api for slash v1 for slash students okay so now you can see this beautiful interface this is the user interface that was given by django rest framework okay so this will automatically be generated for you all right and uh, one more thing you can see here it has given us the status code http 200 okay which we have passed here right status and other thing to notice here allow get request for now okay so options will be available for all the request and uh, the content type is actually a application json okay so this is a json response and this is the data that it fetched from the database all right now if you want to add one more data from here let's say s004 test123 and test branch not rest it is test save and if you hit the get request you know clicking on this get button will be treated as get or you refresh this it will also be treated as get request okay and here you can see the data is being fetched from the serializers okay and if you want to try this api from this postman okay I hope you have installed postman right so this is how the postman uh, user interface looks like and you click on this plus button and uh, i'll copy this url and by default this is the get request from here you usually 
select the methods okay get post put patch delete head and options okay so this will be the get request and uh, let's click on this send and here you can see the same data has been fetched from the database using this api endpoint right so yeah that is there and after that one last thing i want to verify is what happens if i don't pass get into this api view decorator okay so let's remove this get and save and let's refresh this page and you can see method get is not allowed okay so that's why we need to pass the api view as a decorator all right so let's quickly revert it back because we want the get request to be allowed for this view okay and now refresh and we got all the data in the next video we will see how we can store the data in the database using django rest framework thank you